everyone, it's Sadie Pops and welcome back to Spooky Month. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of da, 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 the Cauldron Meister. I got this from B&M for about £15, £16, I'm not sure, £15 or £16. Go look on their website or go to their store if you want it. <laughs> but today we're going to be doing a review of this because I'm super intrigued. So basically on the front it says it creates a creepy atmospheric mist, which is perfect for like Halloween parties and stuff. Everyone's seen these things before. However, this one, this one uses cold water. It's, it's no boiling and no scalding. And there's no need for any special liquid. So it literally just runs off of cold water apparently. So I don't think this is gonna work. And I think I've wasted my money, but I hope that I'm gonna get proved wrong today because I lost the receipt. <laughs> so I really, really hope it works because I, I really wanna be proved wrong. Otherwise I've wasted, yeah, money and I'll be pissed. <laughs> so um, there's not really much else on here. It does change color. Oh, here we go, it's the price, $16.99. That's what I paid for this. So, yeah, this better work. On the back, it says it includes an adapter, so it's a plug-in thing. Place the Meister stand in the cauldron. So there's like a little standy thing in the cauldron. Be sure the cauldron is on a level, flat surface. Do not add water at this time. Place the plastic mat under the cauldron and place the Meister unit with the mist deflector on the Meister stand in the cauldron. What? Right, okay, we'll figure it out, okay. Place the end of the Meister cord through the hole, yada yada yada. Okay, let's just get it out. Let's get it out on the table, then we can figure out what the hell it's talking about. <laughs> so, right, let's do this. So I haven't opened this at all. I have no idea what to expect. Um, all right, so this is the cauldron. I have to admit, right, that is a little bit tacky. They could have done anything <laughs> it would have fit a bit better i don't know i think it's because i work for a prop company like i've seen so many cauldrons now um seeing these like really cheap plastic ones disappoints me however with a nice bronze coating we might be able to get looking nice for halloween but that's a video for another time this is the mist deflector okay a little bit of plastic there then there's a mat Okay, I think this is what we got to put the cauldron on. Um, there's the thing, the Meister stand. I know what that is. And this is the power unit. So, I'm actually kind of scared. Like, what if it explodes or something in my face? Or it destroys my house? Don't think about these things and it'll be okay. I'm really thirsty. Okay, let's follow the instructions because I'm going to do this properly. Right, so. Place the mice stand in the cauldron. Be sure the cauldron is on a level surface. We have done that. You can, can you see it? Right, there it is. It's on a level surface. Right. Then it says, place the plastic mat under the cauldron. Shit. It makes it not level, but it's fine. Place, what? Place the plastic mat under the cauldron. Done that. And place the mice unit with the mist deflector on the mice stand. In the cauldron. Okay, so I think it's this. I think it's this thing. It's like a little bulby, holy thing. This is hard. <laughs> At work, we just use fog machines. So, I don't know. Okay, right. So, we put this in. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. You place this like this. Yes! Okay. Right. Uh, right, we're gonna put this out. Why did, okay, well, right, so there is like a perforated edge to put this plasticky rubbish in. Okay, look, yes, we did it, right. Kind of crooked. Okay, that's fine, that'll do. So you do this, you put the plastic thing in along the perforated edge, and you just sit this here, I think. Apparently there's a hole, oh, there is a hole. In the back of the cauldron, okay, there is a hole. I saw that earlier. I suppose we just feed this through. This in here. Mm, fit. And at the end of the cord, there is like this little black plug thing. You can't really see it, but like, look, like, there, little plug. 
plug thing just there. Okay. So I think that goes into the hole to secure it. Uh, yes. Ugh. Come on, baby. Come on. Push. There we go. Right, that's it. <laughs> this is actually really stressful, okay? Just, just so you know, if you, like, if you're gonna do this, buy it a week before your party. Now plug the adapter end of the cord into the master cord. Oh, okay, that really confused me. I was like, why do I have two wire parts? But they, they slide in together to be friends. Okay. Add regular tap water within the lines marked on the mist deflector. Always keep the water level above minimum, the minimum marking, and not above the max line. Water needs to be added regularly to keep the mister running and prevent damage to the Meister unit. It may take several minutes before the Meister begins generating maximum mist. The tap water should be room temperature to generate the mist. It's not a toy, yada yada yada. Adults do not operate if it leaks. Puddles, yada yada yada. Okay, I'm bored of instructions now. So, let's get some tap water, fill this baby up, and then see what happens. Hopefully mist. <laughs> Okay, so we finally, ouch, finally got it to the max line. It's kind of floating. Get back in your home. And this looks weird. Um, trying to show you what it looks like. It looks really, really odd. It's like kind of bubbling up. But I'm, it might be all right when the mist starts. Okay, I'm just gonna plug it in and then we'll see how it goes. Um, too short it keeps making the mechanism fall to the side but it is changing color and it is doing the foggy thing like it's meant to do I mean this looks really dumb and I was considering taking it out before but now I obviously know we can't which is annoying um, because it does make it look a little bit shit however there's a couple of tricks I've learned at work where like you just get a really thin bit of fabric and you cover the top and it makes it look so much creepier. I don't think this will work, but no, it's too thick. But basically what you wanna do is get some really thin fabric or muslin, let's go over the top and then it will like seep through and then the colors come through and it'll look really realistic. Oh my God, I'm actually really impressed with that. I mean, it does leak a little bit, which is annoying. Um, but I don't know, it's not as bad once you get the, the lid working properly and I think I don't know, I think I'll have a fiddle around with this like as a toy and then try and like figure out ways to get more smoky but as like a cheap ass prop I'm pretty damn impressed that's really cool actually <laughs> I honestly 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 did not think in a million years that this thing was gonna be good like at all but like the smoke that came the, f but the fog that came out was like almost immediate I'm shocked um, I think it'll look better at night time, obviously, because the light will, like, um, glimmer off of the fog. Um, yeah, that's really cool! And this seems a lot safer than a lot of other fog machines. And, um, the fact that it is just water and it's doing this, I mean, that's really cool. Usually you have to pay out for, like, a ton of expensive, like, fancy liquids. 
no man this is really cool I the only thing that concerns me now is how long does this last like how long will it be until this thing runs out of water and then I have to refill it because let's be honest the only reason we'll have this properly out usually is at parties and you don't want to be sitting there refilling a toy every like half an hour like so hopefully it lasts more than that I'm gonna give it a test and uh, I'm gonna look up some reviews online and see what other people have said but thoroughly and generally I'm really I'm impressed I can't believe how quickly that um, turned into fog it did say that water needed to be room temperature and I did put a couple of like hot um, glasses of water in there but no, that's really cool I'm actually really impressed and the thing is that mechanism inside doesn't have to go into a cauldron you can put it into something else so I might well, I'm obviously gonna need a cauldron but like a better cauldron yeah I just think that's really really cool I have no idea how it works at all I'm trying to figure it out it honestly it just I think it's vapor like you know how yeah because the steam um, the the fog that's coming up is cold um, and what it's doing is it seems to be shooting like a jet of water onto this plastic which I think you know how like um, waterfalls work so as the water falls to the ground and then all that steam comes up at the bottom I think that's how it's working like I didn't do science okay, well I did do science I just did biology a level I failed <laughs> at it terribly um, but I don't understand the science behind this but that's what I think is happening it works like a waterfall in that it hits this at such a high speed Maybe that's what breaks it up and turns it into like a thin layer of water and fog. I don't know. If there's any science buffs out there watching this, explain. Explain the science because this is amazing. This is just like witchcraft to me and that's funny because it's a cauldron. <laughs> oh my god, it's so beautiful. don't understand. I thought it would be hot, but it's not. And it's really cool. I'm so impressed. <laughs> I'm so so impressed. I mean, it is you do get what you pay for with like stuff like this. So, I mean, it does have this, which I, I know it's part of the mechanism, and that's what gets it working and so on. But it doesn't look very good, does it? It doesn't look very appealing. I mean, I thought the fog would maybe cover it a bit more, maybe because of a night. It will look better because it's more hidden. Um, I mean, I think I'd give this like overall a four out of five because the fog's great, um, the mechanism's great. It doesn't seem dangerous. Um, visually, it could be improved. Like the cauldron could look better. This thing could be, I don't know, something else. I don't know. Um, <laughs> and no, that's, that's it really. Yeah, like I, like a high four, like a four point five out of five. I am impressed. Fucking ace, man. Ace. Love it. Really cool. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you like this video and want more of them. And don't forget to stay tuned for Spooky Month. We're in the month of October. I'll be trying to do a spooky themed video every single day. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!